Hey guys, so we are in Barrio Logan and we're in an area where there's a bunch of murals. Um, and as you guys can see, there's a bunch of altars, literal altars, literal. And this is literal modern day necromancy. It's not coincidence that Barrio Logan is located in one of the worst areas of San Diego. There's actually demonic portals open. So we were led here by the spirit. We had no idea what was going on. We had no idea that it was even the day of the dead. We had no idea that Barrio Logan was a place for satanic worship with the religion Sante Muerte or the Catholic practice of worshiping the saint of the dead. So when we got here, it was straight spirit led. We had just went to a witchcraft store, interviewed a witch, prayed for her. It was a powerful encounter. After this encounter at the witchcraft store, we were on our way home and I felt led by the spirit to go to one more place. All I did was go on Google, looked up scenic views, a place where that it'd be populated so we can get encounters and interviews. We saw Barrio Logan. We saw Chicano Park. The mural popped up. It looked pretty. I was like, yo, let's go. It looks pretty dope. When we pull up, little did we know it was a whole ritual it was a whole demonic satanic revival going on worshiping the false god santa muerte Father, in the name of Jesus, we just pray right now, Lord. We pray against every demonic portal, Lord, that you would close it right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Reveal what you conceal for your glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Look at that, man. It's a literal altar. Look at that. But this is the same thing we see in the witchcraft stores. Look. This whole episode here is, but yeah. unless you have permission from the people who run the events here to film and record, yes. then I can't let this proceed. Is it, is it, is it, it's a very sensitive event going on. Oh, there's actually an event today? What, what's the event? It's, it's the Day of the Dead celebration. That's this is the Day of the Dead celebration? Look, can you please put the camera down? So, can I ask you a question? Do, do you, like, is this, is, this, is this your, you saying it, or is it the city? Can you put the camera down? So, the camera. unless legally we have to put it down, we're not going to put it down. I'm going to get somebody that can talk to you guys that knows a little bit more about this. Okay, thank you. This is a public park, and we're being told not to record in a public park. I don't understand. When you believe in something, why would you want to hide it? Look, you can come to any church service, take out your phone and record. I don't stop anyone from recording. We live stream our services. We post it online for everybody to see. We have nothing to hide. When we're worshiping our Lord, we put it on the internet. When we pray in the church together as a congregation, we put it online. We have no problem displaying what we believe. How come when it comes to witchcraft, other religions they don't want to display it they always want to hide it don't record don't record it's because the spirits it's not the people i'm going to say this we are not against those people that were in the park they're deceived through generations of tradition and religion and witchcraft so us being there we had the legal right government right abide by the governing laws of the land to record but this young man was sent to try to stop us we didn't stop because we don't have to abide by his rules it's a public park and we're allowed to record let the dead bury the dead that, that, that's what some people don't uh realize is that it's not the it's not the people that we are against okay especially if you believe in christ then you already know that bro we are fighting against spiritual this is a spiritual battle this is spiritual warfare see people look at certain people and they be like oh man that person like this that person like that it's not them but it is the spirit that is living with inside them i swear it's not that person you know what i'm saying because think about it like this look at your lifestyle and look at how you used to live. I'm pretty sure people was looking at you like, man, this person crazy, this and that. But once you came to Christ and you became a new creation in Christ, look how your whole entire mindset, your heart, everything changed with inside you. You was like a whole new person. It's because now you don't have that demonic spirit in you no more. You have the Holy Spirit living inside of you. So you have the fruits of the spirit instead of all this demonic stuff living inside you. Now you got the Holy Spirit. I want people to understand that like, that's what I try to tell people all the time. Like, it, it, it's a difference when, like, when I'm preaching the word to people, especially when I'm at work, I'm, I, I see it in their eyes. I be like, bro, it's a spirit inside this person, and he just don't know or she just don't know. They just don't know that it's a spirit inside them. You can be nice all day long and still be demonic as heck. It, it could be a demonic spirit living inside you, and you could be the nicest person on earth. You know what I'm saying? Because when you don't believe in Jesus Christ, you don't have the Holy Spirit living inside you, Okay. The Holy Spirit is resting upon or is inside everyone who believes in Jesus Christ and believes that he died on the cross for our sins and believe that he is the son of God. You know what I'm saying? That is when the Holy Spirit is resting inside you. But if you don't believe none of that, best believe you don't have the Holy Spirit inside you. You know what I'm saying? But let's go ahead and finish. I like that he said that because a lot of people don't know that. Like the Bible even tells us that that we are fighting against, uh, we're not fighting against flesh and blood, but spiritual uh, principles. Principality, principalities i can't say that word y'all know what i'm trying to say dead man when you die you're either in heaven or you're in hell man what are the chances that this is literally the day of the dead celebration this is literally the santa muerte bro 
Look, this is this is literally witchcraft. This is voodoo, bro. Look, they put it. This is sad, bro. Look at this. We're gonna expose this darkness. This is a day of the dead celebration. We had no idea. Look at this. Is they, they, they're doing witchcraft in this stuff. Right now, the kingdom of God comes with power. We close every demonic portal. We rebuke every demonic spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, may you come down and end this, Lord. You see, Yahweh hates this. This is necromancy. This is witchcraft. This is literally worshiping the dead. You go read the Old Testament. God, it literally is clear as day. This is literally what God hates. He detests this. And it's crazy how they mix it with Catholicism. Worshiping Mary, putting a cross, man. This is demonic, bro. We had no idea this was going to happen, bro. Esta Muerte is a popular witchcraft religion within the Mexican community. They mix Catholicism with witchcraft and occult practices, worshiping the saint of the dead, the Santa Muerte. The saint is actually represented with a skull. They're worshiping a literal skull, a skeleton. And they believe that this, this deity or this spirit is supposed to protect them. You can go watch other videos that we posted where we expose Santa Muerte. Very popular witchcraft religion. And I found out recently it's actually the fastest growing religion in America. America is Santa Muerte. You don't want to practice this. This is the same thing as voodoo. I've seen these same altars, similar statues, similar practices that they're doing. I've seen it in voodoo. I've seen it in Santeria. It's all the same family. It's witchcraft. It's demonic worship. It gets you nowhere other than hell. Now, the devil not only wants to kill your body, but he wants to take your soul to hell. That's his main goal. If the demons can take your soul to hell, they win. The angels, Jesus, the kingdom of God wants to save your soul to go to heaven. The demons want to, want to kill your soul and bring you to hell. Think about it. In Christianity, love, joy, peace, kindness, goodness, gentleness, self-control, patience, right? All these great things. And then you see these demonic religions with anger, murder, revenge, luck, the love of money, lust, all this type of crazy stuff. It's because that's demonic worship. I never looked at it like that, but that is so true. That is crazy. I never seen it like, like I never seen it from that type of lens, but that is true. Every other religion is filled with anger, revenge, all these different type of things, but then you got this one belief that is filled with nothing but love, joy, peace. At least it should be. You know what I'm saying? Like every everybody who claims to be a Christian is not really a Christian. So I know that sometimes Christianity, when you hear Christianity, you cringe a little bit because it's like, ugh. You know what I'm saying? They so judgy. They so this. They so that. That's because everybody just put that word on their name because they grew up in church. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna I'm give all I'm gonna get my real thoughts at the end, but bro, I, I love Richard Lorenzo, man. Shout out to him, bro. Uh, can we get an interview really quick? Can we interview you really quick? Just to ask questions. So we had no idea this was going on. What what is all this? Uh, this is an altar for the Dia de los Muertos. It's a Mexican culture, and we are a group of dance Azteca, and we do the altar each year. So that's okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So at this point, a whole mob of people pull up on this. I guess the young man went and got his friends and family, the people who are probably staying there doing the witchcraft rituals all day and out all night that are staying there, consecrated, doing a retreat revival to the devil, pulled up on us, threatening us. They came telling us to put the camera down, touching it, smacking down our phone, straight physically, cursing us out, ready to go. You see people from old ladies to young boys to, to people who look like they're gang banging because they were throwing up sets and doing different things and a guy actually pulled out a knife and threatened us with a knife it was a custom-made knife real deal like one of those long ones like he was gonna stab us man and we had to tell him like bro put that thing away and it was only by the grace of God by the power of the Holy Spirit that he didn't start spazzing out four of us against 20 to 30 of these people crazy right it was only by the grace of god that we didn't get jumped just to be straight up it was only by the grace of God that we didn't get jumped watch this video to the end hey Hey, I don't know what y'all doing, man. Y'all need, need to chill out for real. Y'all need to chill out for real. Hey, don't, don't touch the camera, bro. Yeah, chill out, bro. Touch the camera. You can't, you can't, you can't touch us like this, bro. We can. This is our part. We ain't from here, bro. We, we don't, we don't got to deal with this, with this, with this drama. Hey, bro. Hey, There's more reason why you gotta go. Hey, stop. Y'all in our space. No, no, no. We not. We better watch y'all. No, I was trying. I know. I'm trying to explain it to you. I'm trying to explain it to you. I'm trying to explain it to you. 
At this point, I called the cops. Look, I am no longer in the world. I am no longer against police. Every service, we have a police officer on duty, protecting the facility, protecting the family and children. We have armed security guards in our service. We use wisdom. We use wisdom and we believe in abiding by the governing laws of the land. God and placed them there for a reason. So we are not against the police. We are not against the popos, the, what they call the pigs, all that stuff. No, we are for the people that got places for our protection. Cause I guarantee you, the minute somebody you love your mother, your father, your sister, your brother gets kidnapped or something crazy happens. The first people you're going to be calling is the police, no matter how, how hard you try to act. Come on, man. We got to get over this, man. And again, it's not the people. It's those spirits operating in these people that need to come out. They need deliverance. They need healing. I'm not against these people. And at the end, we're going to say a prayer for every single person that was involved in this video. And even the people later that were, that were spoken to that they tried to go get. This is where it gets real. Again, the guy pulled out a knife. They started wilding out. They were threatening us about 20 deep. I don't know how many didn't count. We were only four. Me, Berean, Pastor Benji, and Fred. Four people against 20, 25. That shows you, man. It's God's grace that kept us. Watch to the end. You're in the wrong place at the wrong time. Stop okay, it. So we're, we're being cool. Yes, they're being sent to the violence and trying to enter the threat into the hitbox zone. I'm just letting you know. I'm not trying to hit my phone. I'm just letting you know. I'm not trying to hit my phone. I'm just letting you know. I'm not trying to hit my phone. I'm just letting you know. I'm not trying to hit my phone. I'm just letting you know. I'm not trying to hit my phone. I'm just letting you know. I'm not trying to hit my phone. I'm just letting you know. I'm not trying to hit my phone. I'm just letting you know. I'm not trying to hit my phone. I'm just letting you know. I'm not trying to hit my phone. I'm just letting you know. I'm not trying to hit my phone. I'm just letting you know. I'm at this point the police told us exit the smartest thing to do would be to leave and wait until they got there so we left we, had, we listened to the police we began to leave and as we're leaving they kept following us antagonizing us continuing to try to start something it's crazy four of us against 25 of them that's how much those spirits have control over them because any normal person would have been like hey bro leave leave all right you're leaving bye or you're calling the police all right let's wait for the police to come to settle this right that's just common sense when you have peace in your life but they obviously were in a different spirit was operating and wanted us to get out of there and not expose deeper things because i was going to interview that lady who seemed to be a witch and get a powerful encounter i believe i was going to pray for her she probably was going to get touched by the holy spirit preach the gospel we had plans to actually spread the love of jesus out there and let people know the truth but look those spirits operating in them wanted us out of there asap and it kind of reminds you of the bible with paul and how he would go to different areas and they would kick them out they would groups and riots would come stone them to death all types of crazy stuff but the lord always had paul's back and that that day the lord had our back god is good let's continue that's you don't crazy. even know where you're at. You said we're in the barrier. Where are we at? We're at a it park. It does matter. matter. That's the problem. This is a safe yeah. respect. That's the problem. We're not walking in. That's the disrespect. You don't. 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 You Right? So we don't Exactly. Okay, I know. okay, so yeah. So think about it. And then he comes <laughs> like wilding out. What are we listen, supposed to do? Listen. That's not how it happened. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Look, 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 look how many people there are against us four. No, no, no. Is that fair, bro? I know I'm not talking about being fair. fair. I'm not talking about being fair. It don't matter. Okay. I'm not talking about it being fair. At this point, I'm trying to reason with them. I'm trying to speak logic, speak sense. They're just not receiving it. I let them know. For four of us, look how many you guys are. You guys approached us. You guys are being crazy, being very... You know, people who have these type of spirits operating in them, they're not going to understand what you're saying because they're so filled with anger. They're so filled with, yeah, that's what they're filled with. So they don't care about what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? Because whatever you're saying, they just don't care. It, it, it's going in one end after the other because they're so... They're filled with anger. They're filled with just frustration. They don't even know why they're honestly mad. You know what I'm saying? Like you said, if a regular person, like, like if a regular person seen that you was leaving a part, a, a normal person, 
would just be like, all right, you know what I'm saying? They leaving. You know, they had talked they mess from a distance. But coming towards you and up this close and getting all in your face, this is a real brother. This is this is a real man of God. All right. That's why I can say this is a real man of God. This is a man of God that you wanna wanna follow. This is a and when I say follow, I'm not talking about worshiping him and things like that, but I'm saying like this is a like minded brother that you should or that we should hang around. This is a pastor. He is a pastor, by the way, but this is a pastor who church I will op or who I will go to, you know what I'm saying, and 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 get the word from because this is this shows how the love of God is in him. This shows how the fruits of the spirit is inside of him because of everything that he did thus far from the, uh so far in this video. Angry, murderous coming at us. Look at it, look at the logic behind it. And it's crazy because a few of the people actually started receiving. And what I made sure I did is at the end, I looked at the main guy, the one that looked like he was running the show, and I said, Look, bro, I'm sorry. And I looked at the other young boys who were, were threatening to, to fight and all that stuff. I said, I'm sorry if I hurt you. I'm sorry. Forgive me. And I let them know that before I left, just to make somewhat peace to let them know it wasn't because of fear. No, I trust in my Lord. I trust in my Lord and Savior. I trust in Yahweh. I'm protected. But it was to make peace with these people. That hopefully they would see the love of God in us and know that we're true men of God and different. That we didn't want to fight them. That we didn't want beef. We didn't want arguments. We didn't want to do any of that. We didn't want that. And I believe that, that we left an impression on them because of how different we were. And the Spirit of God protected us the entire time. Let's be out right now. Right now, right now, right now, no, no, right now. Why don't you just ran over there on some drum drum? We about to be out. That's the busy, let's go, let's go! And what Fred was saying at this point was that somebody actually went, hopped the fence, and they were running to get even more people. Who knows? Maybe the people that were more gang affiliated or gang activity. We don't know. They were running to get even more people. It was just like, bro, like, who are we that we're so dangerous to you? You see what I'm saying? Crazy, man. Keep watching. How you doing? You're doing a great thing. Let's go! But to give my thoughts on this whole situation, uh, number one, like like he said, it, it's not the the reason why I reacted to this is because I'm showing people who who believe that this stuff is all false. They believe it's fake. They believe all this nonsense, all these different things. This is to show that when people are operated in demonic spirits or when demonic spirits are operating in people. It's to show that they would never want the 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 truth. They would never want to hear the truth of the Holy Spirit. They would never want to hear the truth and the gospel. They don't want to hear the good news. You know why? Because they're they're filled with this demonic presence that they don't want to hear nothing you gotta say. And it's actually sad because people are so deceived. And I'm not gonna sit here and say I'm a perfect a perfect Christian. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that I'm perfect myself. I feel like the way that Richard handled this whole entire situation was the best way to go about it. It's a lot of people who would have went into fights. You know what I'm saying? Because I know in my city, you know what I'm saying? Like my city, they not doing as much talking as these people was doing. In Chicago, they 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 shooting. That's that's what they like to do. They shooting. You know what I'm saying? And I'm grateful that nothing happened to Richard. You know what I'm saying? It's a it's a blessing that nothing happened to him because it was all these people against four of them. Which is ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? But I just want to tell y'all, like, this world is demonic. And it's hard to truly receive truth when this is a world full of lies. Everything on this earth is just, it's a lot of stuff on this. I'm not going to say everything, but a lot of stuff on this earth is lies. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of people, they believe these lies because the lies so what makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes the truth, it don't make sense. You feel me? I hope that makes sense. Like, when you hear the gospel and you hear uh, the, the word of God and things like that, because you're not filled with the Holy Spirit, because you don't really want to hear what the uh, word has to say, you kind of look at you kind of look at all the mistakes that the Bible has. And the Bible has no mistakes. You know what I'm saying? It is literally inspired by the Holy Spirit. It has no mistakes. But because you want to find some mistakes, you're going to you're going to continue to look through the Bible just to find a mistake, just to find what what contradictions can I find? Let me show people that this is not true. Let me show people that Jesus Christ is not God. All these different things. But if you honestly just open up, open up the Bible and have an open heart towards the Bible, 
you will see all the things that Richard see. You will see all the things that I be seeing. You will see all the things that true men of God and women of God see. You know what I'm saying? Y'all would know that we're not crazy. Y'all would know that it is a spiritual warfare out here. Y'all would know that, oh, wow. Oh, if that was me in that situation, I'd fight them. I'd kill them. I'd do all these different things. But look at how he walked away from the situation. Look at how he handled the situation because that's the way to handle these situations. See, people be so high-headed because they have demonic presence and demonic spirits operating in them. So they be so high-headed that they don't think. Now, if he would have ended up fighting no more, he would have ended up killing him he could have been in jail he could have been serving life in prison he could have been doing a whole bunch of time and other people would have came after him and he could have probably been dead you know what i'm saying it's just a whole bunch of different stuff that could have happened but what he do he wanted to make peace you know what i'm saying this is how we need to run or this is how we need to walk in the spirit this is how we need to to walk in the spirit you know what i'm saying because this is the way to go about things this is the way to go about certain situations especially like the one that happened today or yesterday whenever this video is posted especially how that how this whole situation happened that is the way to walk in this situation and people will look at you crazy and think oh man you solve you we you let them stump all over you first of all it is 25 against four that's first off second off it's not that he's soft you know what i'm saying because that's the case you might as well say that jesus was soft because a lot of situations jesus didn't even react he didn't because every reaction or every action don't need a reaction you know what I'm saying? You just got to realize and you got to look into the spiritual realm and realize that it's not them. It's the demonic spirit that is inside of them, that's operating them, that's controlling them, that's causing them to do the things. Because if they receive the if they receive the love of the Holy Spirit, all that anger, all that, all that frustration, everything that was inside of them that is not of God will leave. It will leave them in a heartbeat. They will be filled with peace. They will be filled with love. They will be filled with joy. And they'll be a they'll feel like a whole different human being, a whole different person. Because now that demonic now that demonic present is out of there. You know what I'm saying? Then they're going to be the ones to be trying to uh, uh, trying to um, show people the darkness in the world. You know what I'm saying? Uh, rebuke the darkness that's happening around the world. Because people need to understand that this is nothing but straight darkness. All that witchcraft and all that different type of stuff. People operating in witches and all these different type of stuff, bro, that's happening around the world. We don't see it. Just because we don't see it doesn't mean it's not happening. I haven't seen it yet, but because I be watching these videos, I be like, man, this stuff is actually happening. And I need to start praying for these people and ask the Lord to open their eyes up to truth. Because that's what they need. They need to have their eyes open to the truth of what's really going on. They need to have their eyes open to the truth of the word. I don't care what you may feel about this word. Yes, it's going to be offensive, especially if you're living in your sin. But this Bible right here will literally help you out throughout your entire life. This Bible right here has all the answers that you ever wanted. You just got to read it and humble yourself and have an open heart. You know what I'm saying? Ask the Lord. Pray before you read the Bible and say, Lord, give me eyes to see the truth. Give me ears to hear. You know what I'm saying? Help my heart to be understanding. And he would do everything that you ask for. And you will read this Bible and you will truly understand what it say. You will honestly read it and be like, man, I see what people are talking about now. This this religion is not a false religion. It's just certain people that's in this religion that make it seem as if it's a false religion because they're not truly living out the word of God. But anyways, man, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. Shout out to Richard Lorenzo, a powerful dude, man. He's an evangelist. I love this dude. I, I, bro, I used to binge watch all his videos of him just casting out demons and just just, just literally um, revealing like darkness, just showing people the darkness that's going around this world and rebuking it, man. Like I really love Richard Lorenzo, bro. So shout out to Richard Lorenzo, man. I hope you guys have a good one. Uh, yeah, uh, happy new year, bro. Happy new year. You know what I'm saying? It's a, it's a new year. Uh, this video and then the video I'm finna film after this is gonna be my last video of 2023. So, God bless y'all. I love y'all. Stay blessed. God bless. Peace.